Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and this is Steph, and today we're going to be doing the next modular building. Okay, so we only have one building left that we can actually buy from the Lego store, so uh, we've gone ahead and done it, which is the... What's it called? The bookshop, the isn't bookshop. it? The yeah, bookshop. The so one. this is the latest modular building that we've got, which is the, uh, the bookshop. Now, I've had mixed reviews, uh, heard mixed reviews on this set, but it's a uh, 2,504 pieces, um, so it's pretty standard for the uh, for the modular buildings. I think it looks quite nice from the outside. Yeah, I like the look of it. Yeah, it looks like a double, a two half, um, two half base plate builds, which is similar, I think, to the pet shop that was out that we don't have. So this is gonna be our first uh, two half modular buildings, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Which might help because I've just been trying to set up the city, and I have assembly square, which is obviously one and a half. So I might actually mix and match this one up to uh, to add it in at the moment. So um, we'll get building with bag one. Okay, and we are bag one down, and it's absolutely tiny because it's obviously a half much of the building. Uh, not done much really. I think we were just saying, weren't we? I think this one actually is. There's a lot more bags, but a lot smaller bags. So yeah. this is bag one. How many bags is there? Nine eight? in total. Na nine in total. So we might skip a couple of these, and uh, I'll put in the bottom right what bag number we're on because we might do multiple bags before we start showing you, but. Looking at this one, you can see the start of there is a kid with a plane. I think that's going to be where the tree goes, that bit there, which is what interesting is made out of black sausages at the top. Um, there's a couple of books, which I think this is going to be probably one of the front windows yeah. or something. And the, the office where they, they get books, either buy books or check out books. It's not a library, is it? So you're buying books. Yeah. But checking them out. But yeah, and absolutely hideous uh, tiling which I guess that's kind of what you get in these sort of places. So um, yeah, all in all, it's pretty nice, pretty yeah. easy. Very didn't take quick. Us, yeah, didn't take us very long to do bag one at all. So I think we might do either two or three bags um, on the time lapse, but we'll keep going. Okay, so seeing as I said that we would just do a, a couple of bags, uh, I think doing bag two, you've got the whole the downstairs of the bookshop, so I thought this would be a good time to actually stop it. So we have a new guy. This is the, uh, I think he's like romantically interested in the lady who actually serves the library. We don't have the uh, librarian or whatever yet. It's not a library, is it? Bookshop, it's, you know, it's a you know. bookshop. I think it's supposed to be like an antique bookshop as well because there aren't that many books in it, but. Suppose in these kind of places, if you had them in London and stuff, you would have, if it was an antique bookshop, you'd only get a couple of books because they're very expensive. You don't think so? No. They well, I'm trying to give it an excuse why there's not that many books. There's there's lots of books There's there. only a couple in there. For a whole bookshop, I'd find that a bit. But I like the spiral stack as well. But I'll change the other camera now and um, have show you a quick look of what we've done so far. So this is the outside of the bookshop at the moment. It says Birch Books. These are both printed tiles. It has these nice gold, I think they're spray painted, um, just pl I think not plates, tiles, tiles, one by one tiles uh, on the outside just at an angle to create that kind of quite a nice. And then this is a lantern turned upside down. And then I've actually put the book there because I believe that's what it is looking at the front cover. It says Moby Brick, which is a unique print again, which is a book. And then inside it just has the Once Upon a Time uh, tile, which is the exact same as the one here as well on the outside. I find that really weird that that's outside the bookshop as well, these books, but that's how it says to build it. I'm pretty sure we've done it right. Yeah. So, um, then going into the actual library, peering overhead, there's some books there at the back and then so a big bookshelf over here. 
and then this really cool spiral staircase. People say they don't like the colour that I quite like that. It looks like an old regal kind of colour. Yeah. Stairs. Um, and then we have this very yellow uh, tiling, which I think you've seen before, and the register. And then I think these are places for either to clip the stairs to maybe, or the upstairs floor. I'm not too sure. There might still be some extra on this uh, level. I'm not too yeah, sure actually looking at that now. But um, yeah, that's where it's up to at the moment. So that's where we're at. It's looking pretty good. I quite like it. You're saying it's a bit trickier because this is half a modular because you're getting in the way a little bit more than yeah. like the bigger ones. They're really close together, it's really yeah. compact. But um, it is pretty cool. I think if I had another two half, I'd actually get you to build one half, me to build the other maybe. But yeah. that's, uh, yeah, for another time maybe. So we'll get on and do the next bag. Okay, so that's bags three and four done, is it? Yes. So yeah, we've done four out of the eight bags now. So eight bags or nine bags. Nine time. bags. Okay, so we are halfway because we've done half of the modular building anyway. So I'm guessing that the other building's got a couple, well, one or two more bags maybe. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the way in which it's built up. But they're very small bags, weren't they? And they yep. added up to a lot. So, um, so yeah, as you can see, we've got the, the birch tree now out in the front. Let's do a close up there. And the little boy with the is playing outside. Now I think the story when I was looking at this on uh, Lego is, is that the kid gets his plane caught in the tree, and I think he either lives with his grandparents next door or has been to visit. So I think the house next door is his grandparents or something. Uh -huh. And actually, the designer uh, specified in it that they are based on his parents. So if you haven't watched the Lego uh, video about that, it's quite interesting. Um, so. Uh, let's, should we go into it? I might as well go into it and... Yeah, let's that. show the detail. Yeah, so I'm going to get the other camera. Okay, so this is the floor from outside. I'll just lift the camera up and you can take a look. As you can see, there's a bird in the tree here as well. And uh, blue is quite nice, that little bird. I think it's the same bird that's in the Disney collection with Jasmine. Um, and then you can see the intricate details on the outside. So that's a roof section and then the second floor. So if we do you want to take off the, the roof? Okay, so there's nothing in the roof, I don't think, is there? What's inside the roof? Okay, so you can open the roof. I didn't realise that. That's where that was. And you can see there is a um, teal. What do you say that colour is? Yeah. A teal chameleon and a teal bed. Now, again, watching the Lego, um, a designer video, you're, that's because they decided to change the colour of this chameleon for this so that the chameleon can escape his cage and then be on the bed, so he's hidden on the bed. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it is the same chameleon that is featured in series 19 with the adventurer. Right. There's the magnifying glass and the bag. So yes, it's not a new piece but it's a new colour for this set. And then, I don't know whether we, did we show this floor? No, I don't think we did. So this floor is the Second floor up, and it actually does have more books, I think, because I think there were books. Oh, wait, there, actually, take this off a second. Uh, we actually had this bit that was built, which is just a small oh, staircase. Messing, that, messing me, messing me, yeah, with me. a couple of books here. That's where I remember the books being. You can take this off quite easily to get access to underneath, which we now have this new uh, bookshop lady uh, behind the counter. But that's really easy to take off, so you can get your fingers in behind there, which is quite nice. And then I'll have a look at this from down here. This is the floor that it goes up, so it goes through there and then around here. And I've got the the guy with his flower sitting on this really cool black leather sofa. And then he also has this really nice looking retro light there so you can read and he's got a little coffee table with the signature coffee mug. There's two in this set here at the moment. I'm sure there'll be more in the, uh, the next house. There's also this really nice mini build, which is this grandfather clock. Quite nicely done. It's actually built into the wall to, to get the the thinner part of, this, of the sections for clipping on. So part of it is actually built directly into this wall here. And then we also have a balcony on the outside that has a little um, two places where you can sit and have a coffee. So I'm guessing that this uh, bookshop also sells coffee, although there's no uh, coffee area to brew it. But um, 
Maybe we'll put this next to our assembly square where the coffee area is so they can come and bring their own coffee. So let's reattach it all back on and just show you what it looks like from the back as well. You want both sections of everything? Yeah, I'll just show the, uh, the coffee area. You get it on, there we go. And then if you spin it around, that's what it looks like from the back with the little balcony around the back and the back door as well, which you can add some plants or something if you wanted to here. It's a bit bare, but it looks quite nice still. Still very clean. The sides of the building are actually quite clean as well. This is actually supposed to be covered up because it's got the, but they've done quite a good job of you no know, bits through the uh, walls. This side's not as good, but I think with the use of the brown, it just add, makes it look like it's aged over time. So I think it's done a really good job with it, to be honest, mm. all in all. And these are really meant to be not on corners anyway. You can tell that it's meant to have a building both sides, but I think they've done a really good job with the design of this one. I think it's really cool that it's on a, a half base plate. So you've got the flexibility in where you put the different... Yeah, I wish they sold these. I don't know if they do. I need to look if they sell yeah. these for my other sets. It's just a, for assembly square, it's all it's all joined together. No, assembly square has a half base plate and then a full base plate. But as in the build builds it all together, yeah. they're joined together. Yeah. Okay, so that's the first section, which is the bookshop or bookshop. Yeah, so yeah. Next, we'll get on to the townhouse, I think it is. It looks like a townhouse, isn't it? Like a yeah, three story like townhouse. townhouse. So, we'll get on to that. I think I'm going to time lapse the whole video as one and then have a look at it. I think that's probably a better way to do this, but we'll do that for the next part of the video. So we finally finished the second part of the bookshop, which yeah. this isn't the bookshop because that's the bookshop. So this is a, a little residential building. Um, like I said, I've actually watched the Lego designer uh, video. You should watch it if you get a chance. I, I like watching all of them. Um, and this is actually based off of the lead designer's uh, parents. It's quite funny. So I'm guessing that if they are, that then this little guy at the front is either him or his kid because it's supposed to be that the story is that there's a ladder at the back of this, which I'll show you, that comes out from the basement. And that is then the ladder used to get the kids playing out of the tree in the video. So, interestingly enough, but I'll switch to the other camera and I'll show you the actual details of this. Okay, so here it is from the outside. So I'm taking a further step back so you can see the building in its glory. Really, really cool. But here's the front door and it has these steps that go up. Now, there's a reason for that. The design is basically kind of cheated because it's it is three stories but it's only really like two and a half stories yeah. but if you can see from the side here this bit here is actually where it starts and i'll pop this all off and show you why so if i tip this instead you can see that there this is basically like un, i suppose in america they have like under Basement. storage yeah or like um I think America has raised houses maybe mm -hmm. that they have storage under. I don't know. If you guys are American, let me know. I'm a, we, we don't have these kind of things in the UK, but there is stairs here. So like I say, it could be a basement, but a minifigure can't stand. The height of a minifigure can't fit in here. So if I use this guy, who's not from the set as an example, his head would get chopped off. So it's not full minifigure height. Crawl space. Yes, yeah, crawl space. That's what I was trying to think of. So 
There's also a little uh, mini build here, uh, which is a mouse trap, which is quite cool. It's using a bucket handle um, and then a modified one by two tile with a yellow wedge on it. Ironically, they're called cheese wedges, so that's kind of the point. And then it has a bag here, which can be anything, rubbish or whatever. And this ladder is what I was on about before, about the, um, the granddad or the dad getting this out of the crawl space to then climb on the tree. And the way he does that is, if I show you the garden, it has a pumpkin here and two whatever it could be, carrots or some sort of veg that they're growing as a little vegetable patch. And there is actually a little door here. And if you can pick the door, that's where the ladder is. You can actually grab the ladder from there. It's actually attached via just a modified two by two plate like that. And you can actually, I think you can maybe, yeah. But anyway, that's how it goes in. So you can easily get it out if you want to and then the crawl space can go away. So, okay, so go up to the first floor. You can see the grandparents here having a cup of tea with the with their coffee pot. I don't think we have it. We haven't had a teapot before, have we? So no, that's a, a new thing for us. Yeah. We've got the standard, um, the picture of a, of a ship there, and they have like a, a futon or a- Window seat. Yeah, window seat there, which you can see because of the nice coloring from the front. And actually, I'll show the side details here as well, to the door. Door opens, obviously, inwards. And then they've got a really nice coat hangers here with a, a hat on one and an umbrella on the other. I really like how they've used that. They're actually microphones, black microphones. And that's a door there which leads down to the uh, to the cellar or the, the crawl space that we were on about. And then interestingly at the back, this is like a kitchen cabinet and I've opened it slightly because I can't get it open without breaking it basically because of my nails. Um, but if I take it off here, it has what I think's either I don't know whether it's a coffee machine or I or have no idea. And... Yeah, no idea at all. But that's there with these little builds here, which look like salt and sugar, salt and sugar, uh, sugar and brown sugar and white sugar. I have no idea because they're, and then these little pots above. But this is then a mini build using windows, which goes over the top, like so. And there's a little cabinet beneath, and you can close that. But I can't get it open again <laughs> with my fingers. We've also got the fireplace, which is really nice. And then the stairs go around like so, which goes up to the next floor. So the next floor is actually two, uh, two parts. There's a, this is the back part, but I'll leave that off for now. So this is the outside, with the nice detailing on the roof. I really like the detailing there, it's really cool. And if I swing it around, the, this is the bedroom. They've got a really massive bed. That's like half the, the upstairs flooring. And this neat, really nice, couple of mini builds here, which is like a lamp and a pot. And then you've got the standard bridge, which was also the television screen for the corner garage yeah. they recently did. And that's really nice. I like how they've used these rounded tiles here to just give it a little bit more character. And that's really, really nice. And then the back goes on separately. And that's because they have a nice balcony as well that they can look out of. They've got this nice window here and that's the door to their bedroom and they can peer out, but they've also got these nice pot plants in this little balcony thing, it's really, really nice. And I think the whole back just looks really, really clean. Yeah, it's a really smart back. Yeah. yeah. Especially with the veg plot. So, I'll switch to the other camera so we can show them both together. So then you clip these two together. Ooh, it's this way around. I'm guessing it can be whichever way you want it to be. But um, that's it that way around, which is the residential property and then the uh, the, what's it called? Birch Books, isn't it? Yeah. Which you hadn't realised until the very end that it's called Birch Books because this is a birch tree. So, fascinating. But you can also, if you wanted to, because these are two modulars, clip it the other way, depending on how you want it. I think it's meant to be the other way though. Yeah. Um, but the one thing I would say is a mini complaint to this is I love the inclusion of the birch tree. We think it's a little bit bare, don't we? There's not yeah. much foliage on it. Oh, big words, me, foliage. But also, it actually covers up the nice details of the uh, bookshop, I think, because a lot of this is really nice custom printing here and it kind of gets in the way and almost takes your eye away from the the actual um, the building. And I was on about if we were gonna buy another one to have a couple of residential buildings, because it's my only residential at the moment. Yeah. But we were saying like, if so, I'd probably remove this on the other buildings and would then change this up to not be a, a bookshop. Maybe you could do a library, uh, something else that's kind of these old building styles. But I've only got a small city uh, and I'm actually going to be doing, I think I've already done the video by the time this one comes out. 
in my cities, this is going to go into that city. Uh, but I haven't got much room if you've seen before, so uh, I don't know whether I'm going to do multiples of this. Maybe that'll be in a city update if I do. But all in all, I would just give this out of five compared to the other ones. So we've got, so if you haven't watched the videos before, we've got the diner, we've got the assembly square, corner garage, and this one. How would you rate it? Which, which one yeah, out of those? This is my least favorite. It's probably a three or a four, isn't it? What, what, what? Three feels too high. Three or four out of five? Yeah. I think all of these modular buildings, to be honest, are four out of fives, yeah. but I do think it's the, my fourth favorite out of all of them, I have to say. Yeah. Um, sadly, I really like the corner garage. Most people don't like it. I like that one. Assembly Square is still my top, and I do really like the diner because it's just really, really unique. So this will have to be fourth, but we'll see what happens next January and what the next one's going to be. But um, anyway, thank you for watching the video. Um, we're going to change these up, I think, in the future, and I think I'm just going to do it more of a time lapse, the full video, then review. So more like what we did with the second building. I think that actually works a lot cleaner. Let me know your guys' thoughts if you agree with that. Um, but I think before it was like, Time lapse, talking about it, time lapse, talking about it. It just didn't really flow. So we're going to change it up in the next video and see. I uh, hope you, you like the new room. Um, I like it. And also you like it because I'm not taking up the dining room anymore. Yeah. So um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and have an awesome day. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See you soon.